Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Magic Duster. So in this video we are going to learn about one of the basic operation of mags. And before going to watch the video, kindly subscribe the channel and share the video. In Max, we have four basic operations that are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So in this session, we are going to learn about subtraction. Hi kids, I am subtraction and people used to call me minus. My duty is reducing the number. Of course. I have the pet names too, just like you. So my pet names are take away, left, how many more, difference and less. Yes children, so subtraction is when you take a number and make it smaller by using another number. Now look at these apples. If I take two apples away, how many apples are remaining? Yes, 5 minus 2 is 3. So 3 apples are remaining. Did you notice that? By using subtraction, we are, amazing, we are making the answer which is smaller. To put that simply, subtraction means taking a number away from another. Here we have an example. There are 3 oranges on the plates. If I take one out, how many oranges are remaining? Yes, there are two oranges as remaining. And in subtraction, we have to remember three things. One is minuend. The first number, which is always should be the largest one, is called minuend. Then the second number, which is subtracted from, is subrahend. Then the third one, the answer, which we are finding after subtraction, is called difference. Yes, now we are going to learn how to do the subtraction using a number line. 23 minus 8 is the question. To find out the answer, I should find out where the 23 is in the number line. Yes, here it is my 23. To reduce the number, I should jump in backward counting. So, let us start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Yes, so I jump here, number 15. So this one is easy to do, right? When you are doing number line subtraction, we have to count in the reverse order to find the answer. So what is that 8 subtracted from 23? Yes, that is 15. Now, and always remember, when we are going to do subtraction, write down the larger number first and the smaller number directly below it. And making sure to line up the columns because each column has a separate value. Let us solve some exercises. Here we have four basic questions related to the aquatic animals. The first one, Tony had seven crabs. Three crabs walked away. How many crabs does Tony have left? To find the difference, I should write the larger number above and the smaller number below. So 7 minus 3 is 4. Then the second one, red question. Sadi caught 6 fish and she gave 3 to her mom. How many fish does Sadi have left? To find out the answer, I should do the subtraction from 6 minus 3. So the answer is 3. Then the next one. Sally has 5 octopus toys. Her brother takes 2 of them. How many octopus does Sally have left? Yes, so 5 are there in that 2 was taken away. And we know that remaining difference taken away these words and all. The pet names of subtraction which means the terms which we are mentioning for subtraction. So if I do the subtraction, the answer must be 3. Then the last one, yellow question. Mr. Ray has 7 string rays. 5 of them have swam away. 
How many string rays does Mr. Ray have left? To find out, I should write the larger number above the smaller number below. And we know if 5 is subtracted from 7, the answer must be 2. And children, when you are doing any operation of max, don't forget to put the symbol. Now, we are going to learn about the habits of subtraction. Okay, nothing else. So a habit of subtraction is called properties. We have two properties, zero property and another one is if we add, uh, if we subtract a number itself, the difference is zero. Let us see in detail. Property one, zero property of subtraction. Here we have two examples. Let us solve one by one. 30 minus zero. So when we are going to do the, any operation, we should start with the ones place. So if I start in the ones place, zero minus zero is zero. And three minus three, sorry, z three minus zero is three. So a number is 30. As I said before, in zero property, which means in subtraction, if we subtract zero from any number, the answer is the same number. Now, guess the answer. 975 minus zero. Yes, the answer is the same number. 975. Property 2. So if we subtract a number from itself, the answer is 0. Let us see how it is worked out. Here I have 50 toys and someone take away all the 50 toys. So the answer is 0. Again guess the answer. 649 is subtracted from 649. What would be the answer? Yes, 0 again. So when we subtract any number by itself, we will receive the difference as zeros. And the third property. In subtraction, the order in which the numbers are subtracted is important. Let us see. 76 minus 55. Can I do the sum? Yes, we can. Because we should start with the ones column and all the numbers which is right written in the above column is larger. So 6 minus 5 is 1, 7 minus 5 is 2. So the answer must be 21. Now the second column, 55 minus 76. Let us ask Tintu. Tintu, is the sum is correct? No? Oh my god. Because the larger number must be on the first column. Here we have 55 chocolate. I cannot subtract 76 chocolates from the 55. Then the next one. The movie theater had 268 seats for the new movie and 204 seats were taken. So how many sweets, sorry, sweets still need to be filled? To find out the remaining, we should do subtraction. And as I start with the ones column, 8 minus 4 is 4, 6 minus 0 is 6, and 2 minus 2 is 0. So the answer is 64. What is the meaning? Still, 64 seeds are remaining. Tinto, is the answer is correct? Wow! So we learned what is subtraction and how to do it with the properties. Hope you all helped.